Yeah, we'll hear uh, day 27th, um, April 19th. Um, I'm on the Elise River. It's a beautiful day, the fourth day in a row here of this high pressure. Uh, it, it actually gets nicer every day. It doesn't get much warmer than 7, 8 below. It drops down to maybe 15 below at night. And uh, today it was uh, brown fog, and that burnt off after a while. Uh, no wind at all. And uh, the only problem is there's uh, deeper snow, about 8, 10 inches of snow, so it's really pretty hard uh, hauling. Uh, but despite that, the day is just absolutely uh, gorgeous here. Uh, a lot of a lot of tracks, a lot of uh, caribou tracks crossing the river, coming down from the hills and coming over to, uh, up the other side. And the usual wolves, uh, a lot, quite a few wolf tracks around and, and uh, fox tracks. And uh, it's just beautiful uh, working. I work out about 10 hours a day I haul and breathing in this fresh air. Something about the high pressure. Uh, this high pressure clean air is just really exhilarating. Um, really good uh, spirit to that air. And uh, but it's a tough day every day. I made almost 10 uh, miles a day, despite you know including all the curves and windings around. Um, and just quite a bit uh, starting tomorrow. I'm I'm going up another um, divide. Uh, this is a shorter divide, but much higher. And then from there, I drop down about a thousand feet. Uh, down to what's called the Western River. Um, I've been able, not able to get any information at all on the Western River. I don't know anyone that's ever run it, and uh, I'd be curious if anyone ever has. And uh, this is a very, very tough area, um, and uh, it might be inaccessible. This is this area of hardship and starvation that the natives call, them, and that's because of this rugged area. They, uh, uh, the topography here is getting a little bit in the, uh, higher hills and so forth, but this is going to change here another day and a half. And I'll talk talk a little bit more details and, and what I intend to do and my strategy of getting down in, into that. Um, it's uh, it's probably a one-way trip, and once you get down there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get back up again. But uh, So that's going to be an exciting adventure. Uh, it looks like this um, high-pressure uh, you know, four days of calm air, air, air. But this is actually in the Arctic, uh, very typical uh, spring weather where you get 10, 15 below, clear day, days, day after day, dog sledding, you know, weak dog sled. This would be maybe in the higher Arctic where it's a little, the weather is a little bit calmer. And, uh, this area here is, is getting a little bit, a little bit north of the Barrens. The Barrens is the, uh, it's called the Key Waden District, the, the land of the wind. And uh, there's still plenty of wind here, but um, uh, you get you get the dominant uh, high pressure, which is over us right now. And but everything's going well here. Um, I'm really tired at the end of the day, and um, but uh, things are going well. I, I'm uh, looking very closely always for bear tracks, no bear tracks yet. I think bears are still hibernating, and uh, that may change here in a little bit. So I'll check in with more information on the route I'll be I'll be taking tomorrow. And this is Will uh, signing off your day 27th, uh, April 19th, over and out.